Leo, what's popping? Happy early birthday, Leo gang. Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I'm here to do your love reading, Leo. Dang, man, like, I feel like I ain't talked to y'all on hills on some real shit. Mm-hmm. Leo. I got some interesting messages for y'all when I was meditating on your energy. So, when I started to like really tap into y'all energy, Leo, I, I took the deepest sigh. Like, I was just like, <sighs> like a major sigh of relief. So, I don't know, like, Leo, I feel like something is just I don't know it's like a weight off your shoulder like some sort of heavy burden has been lifted um I also they gave me the song and like I don't even listen to this song like this I think I've only heard this song on like other things like movie soundtracks and shit but they gave me um Beyonce featuring Kendrick Lamar Freedom so, Leo, I really feel like you're releasing yourselves from something or you're free from something or you're laying a burden down of some sort. I feel like just like renewed hope, renewed freedom. A lot of you um, Leos are stepping into your power for sure. Like this energy that's coming through for you leo is so strong but it's so beautiful because as i was trying to like as i was meditating on your energy i almost like like teared up i'm like damn leo what the fuck is going on this is like something here is like overwhelming but like in a good way um my spirit guys was also showing me um <laughs> rocky balboa like, for those of you that are familiar with Rocky Balboa, like, they were showing me the image of him running all the way to the top of the steps and then turning around with his, you know, arms up in the air and shit. Like, I made it. Like, I did it. Some of you Leos could be working out real hard at the gym, too. That's what all that sign was about. You out of breath and you sweating because you're getting in a good workout. But, yes, Leo, I feel like something, like, I feel like a lot of you Leos could feel something great getting ready to happen. I feel like you're on the precipice of something is what I'm feeling like. And then I pulled you guys a dark mirror oracle card. And we got number eight, the child I was meant to be. So some of you Leos, well, a lot of you Leos have been doing the self work. I'm picking up on a lot of self healing, a lot of self care. Like, really, truly a lot of self-care. Like, look at that plant. Like, a lot of you guys have really been growing. You've been healing. You're really, like, shedding layers and letting go of things that are absolutely not important. Like, healing your inner child. Being free. Um, tapping into that childlike um, energy. Um, being enthusiastic about life. Being excited. Um, being curious about new opportunity, new opportunities and new ways of doing things, especially when it comes to your love life. I feel like, Leos, you've been holding on to some type of hurt or some type of pain possibly for the longest time. Uh, or you could be holding on to a relationship for the longest time and like you finally decided to put the situation behind you or lay, lay the burden down and I feel like you just feel amazing you feel so free um just giving all that love that you usually give in in relationships to yourself and it's just like I'm hearing simultaneously healing you it's like you've been baptized or something Leo <laughs> Some of you could have. Some of you could have gotten baptized, Leo. But that's you just feel, like, renewed. Like, truly a new version of yourself. Like, look at all that purple in that car. All that royalty energy. This is beautiful. Damn, Leo. What's going on here? Okay. 
And these cards are interesting. So we got offer on the table. It says proposal commitment. So this is like two of cups energy here. So this is soulmate energy. Um, Leo, some of you could be coming in contact with like a soulmate, like a high level soulmate. It's going to be an offer on the table soon if it hasn't already presented itself. I feel like it's like on the verge of coming in like any second, any day now is what I feel like. Well, like whatever this is that I'm feeling, I feel like it's really, really close. Also with this card as well, um, the last zodiac sign that got this card when I did their reading was Libra. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra as well. Um, then we got deadline time running out. So, um, I don't feel like this is like time running out per se. I feel like this is like time is winding down. Like I said, whatever this is, this in your energy field is like really like extremely close. That's why I feel like TikTok is here because like it's almost time is what I'm feeling like. It's like something is getting ready to come in, but this is divine time. And it was meant to come, you know, this is like, it's like almost here. It's like you got five minutes left and it'll be here or five minutes left and you'll be there. Like it's something here that's getting ready to happen. But it's like this feels like like serendipitous. And then we got love. Adore, admire, enchantment. Wow. So some of you Leos, some of you Leos could be falling in love right now. I don't know with who. Like I said, the only sign that I see out here so far is Libra. Then we got your card out here. We got Divine Masculine, Nipsey Hustle. So a lot of you Libra men definitely have stepped into your power. Look at that, Divine Masculine. I feel like a lot of you Leo men have really been on your grind. But this could be you Leo females too in your masculine energy. You really been focusing, um, focusing on your own energy. Um, it says God will rise, victory lap, marathon, self-made, the grind, hustling, motivate, brand, advocate, two times up. Um, yeah, so so some of you um Leos that are like business owners or entrepreneurs, I feel like your shit is getting ready to take off, or you're going to start a business and this shit is gonna take off like really, really fast. And you're gonna be like so shocked and so surprised, like how fast your shit take off. Like Nipsey Hustle, like he's a Leo. Nipsey is a Leo, so R.I.P. to one of the greats. So amazing. Shout out to, to Hustle. But yes. Um, so this is crazy. Like this card came out of your energy. This is like confirmation Leo. So yes, y'all are on y'all shit. Y'all focused. Y'all are in y'all power. Y'all feeling free. Y'all tapping into the, the energy. I feel like you're just manifesting in all areas of your life. I don't know if you're doing. I don't know if you're no. I don't know if you know that you're doing this, but I think it's happening because of this healing energy. It's like, I don't know, something may have happened to you in cancer season where you just finally had like some sort of emotional relief that has brought on like this epiphany and you're now just feeling like free. It's like simultaneous healing for some of you Leos um, that could have been suffering from s some sort of illness. I feel like this is like some sort of miraculous healing, some sort of um, miraculous, like, it's like, this is like miracle energy out here. Oof. Then we got the Isley Brothers out here. Now the Isley Brothers with Nipsey Hussle. Um, so for you, um, divine masculine, you Leo divine masculines, I feel like you're doing something like you've been on your grind. You've been getting to the money. You've been working your ass off and something here is getting ready to pay off in a major way. And these are like, I like the Isley brothers. These are like homeboys or uncles, brothers, cousins and shit. That may have been around you like prior to you stepping into your divine masculine energy. And they're like looking at you like, damn, how the fuck did he come up like that? It's like these, whoever these men are, they're like in awe of you, <laughs> Leo men. Like, I don't know what you're doing or what's getting ready to happen. But this is how these men, 
these homeboys, these friends, cousins, uncles, brothers, whoever, they're going to be looking at you like this, like, what the fuck? Like, how the fuck? You know, something here is getting ready to take off for you, Leo masculine men, especially um, Leo men, if you do music, rapping per se, because Nipsey was a rapper, but he also did a lot of other things. He had a clothing line. I think he opened like a recreational center in like his neighborhood, you know, for kids to learn um, or be creative. Like he was dabbling into a lot of stuff. I'm not sure, but I think he was also into real estate as well, maybe. I don't know. You might have to fact check that. But he definitely was like a businessman. I know he owned his masters to all his music, um, like all of that good stuff. Like Nipsey Hussle was really like a businessman, okay? Um, shout out to Nip. I guess he wanted to come through in his reading. But yeah, it's just like people are going to be looking at you like, how the fuck did this man accomplish this shit? Yeah, I got 11 on the timer as well. Some of you Leos could also, you Leo men. Like, a lot of you masculine men, um, people are probably used to you just being on your grind, you know, staying to yourself, hustling, working, doing whatever it is that you're doing. For some of you Leo men, you could end up in a relationship with this love out here, love and offer on the table. You could, like, end up proposing to somebody and then people be, like, fucking shocked. They like, what the fuck? They like, what? Like, you get married? You propose? What? You see they faces? They like, what the fuck? <laughs> but then, like I said, this could be Leo females as well. Like, Leo women, you could be, like, just in your masculine energy, just, like, focusing on your grind, minding your business, working out, um, being creative, doing, focusing on your healing, self-care, doing whatever it is that you're doing. And then, and boom, all of a sudden, Divine Masculine pops up with this love offer. So, I don't know. It's something here, Leo's, about, especially you singles, it's something here about y'all getting ready to be into, get into a relationship. Or for some of you that are in a relationship, I feel like you're getting ready to be single. And then we have Michael Jackson out here as well. Um, so, he's a Virgo. So, now we got, so we have Leo on Leo. We have Leo and Libra or Leo and Virgo out here is the signs that I see. So Leo, Virgo, Libra is out here already. But yes, Michael Jackson, it says self-esteem. So I feel like you're feeling really good, Leo. Like your self-esteem, like, you know, Michael Jackson has on the glitter glove. You know, Michael Jackson was like a freaking icon. Like you got Nipsey Hussle and Michael Jackson out here. Like these are two very influential people. So, Leo, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but, like, whatever this is or whatever you're getting ready to do, it's, like, this is going to be, like, so profound, so miraculous. Like, both of these people were famous, you know what I'm saying? So, like, Leo, you could be coming into stardom, you could be coming into fame, um... Or you could be getting into a relationship with somebody who's famous for some of you. And, like, you don't expect that. you just like, what the fuck? Like, real shit. Like, this is a real serendipitous energy I'm feeling. Meaning, like, shit that only happens, like, once in a lifetime type of energy. Um, but, yeah, Leo females. It says PYT on here. So... I feel like Leos, of course, like, you guys are just, like, very attractive. Leo men, Leo women are normally very, very attractive people. Like, it's like you can't not look at them, especially when they're in their power like this. Like, you can't, like, it's just almost like, you know, their sign it represents the sun. Like, the sun, like, it gets no better than the sun. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't look away, you know? So, I feel like you definitely could be getting a lot of attention as well, especially Leo females. It's the Isley brothers out here. Look at all these men. It's like six different men on this card. So, you can have a lot of men looking at you right now, Leo females. Um, I would be careful, though, because this card says, it says you're contagious. So, one of these men could have something. I don't know. 
Um, but you're contagious just meaning that, like I said, people can't stop looking at you or whatever this is that you're doing, what you're getting ready to do, this opportunity, this business that takes off, whatever the fuck this is, people are just like, I feel like it's just like shocked. And for some of you Leos that are probably like already celebrities or already famous or you already have some sort of platform, I feel like people just like love looking at you. It's almost like, I don't know, this is like, this is giving me like fan behavior. So Leos that are already popular or known for something that they do, um, like if you're a Leo and you're like a rapper or something, you know, and you're well known and you're famous, I just feel like. When you go out and put, it's like people, yeah, they see you like on social media or they see you on TV or on videos and shit. But I feel like when they see you in person, this is how these people look. Even the men. It's just like, I don't know. It's just something about your energy that is just like has people in like in awe. And then, yes, we have Charity. We have my brother's child star. So, like I said, this child star, some of you guys been doing something since you were since you were a child. And this is just, like, destined. It's fated for you to be, to be known for this, to become this, to enter into this. Like, this shit, whatever this is, was just meant to be. It says entertainer. It says the GOAT artist. So, it's a lot of you could be artists in whatever facet. Um, in the creative arts, you could be a painter, you could be a writer, you could be a singer, you could be a dancer, you could be whatever the fuck this is. It's something that you're good at and you've been doing it for a very long time. Um, and I feel like this is just whatever this talent is, it's going to like take off for you. But it happens like soon as you free yourself from something. Like, I don't know why I'm getting all this energy because this is supposed to be a love reading. I feel like we're talking about like career or something. Yeah, I'm hearing like number one hit. So for some of you Leos, like I said, that are into music. For some of you Leos that are into music, I feel like the next song that you put out or something like that is like going to take the fuck off. Like, I don't know what you cooking up in the studio or something, but whatever it is that you're doing creatively is just like, it's getting ready to just like, I don't know. Somebody here is like getting ready to go viral or something. It's like this energy. All right, Leo. But it looks like you do have an offer coming in. Um, it says adore, admire, enchantment, offer, proposal, commitment on the table, TikTok. I feel like time is winding down. Like whatever this is, is getting ready to come in like soon. I also keep hearing the 8-8 eight, eight portal. So I feel like by the time August 8th rolls around, this, whatever this is, will be here. Or you'll know what this offer is, what this proposal is. And then it says offer on the table with love. Even though this is like a love reading, like romantic, I feel like this is like a contract or something. Something that you love to do. Something that you just have so much passion for. There's going to be an offer on the table for this. This definitely could be like a dream job or a dream career or something like that. All right, Leo. What zodiac signs are significant for my Leos? We got Gemini out here, Leo. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. also feel like Leo if you've been dating um somebody I feel like you guys are like just like so enamored with each other you're just so in love it's like so giddy like butterflies and shit and I feel like if you've been dating this person I feel like whoever this is or this could be you but somebody here is getting ready to make this official like I feel like if you are in a new relationship or you're getting to know somebody, Leo, and you're dating. 
and there's like no title on this situation yet is getting ready to be some of you are finna go from friends to lovers um to lovers to boyfriend and girlfriend from boyfriend and girlfriend to fiancés or if you're already engaged you're getting ready to be husband and wife it's like a level up here it's a level up here i feel like in your work creatively whatever this work contract is this is something that you love to do but it's like a creative endeavor it's like something that you're just naturally gifted naturally talented at that's getting ready to take the fuck off but then i feel like in regards to love it's some new offer out here with somebody that's like that two of cups that offer on this offer on the table energy and like you can meet this person over drinks or something and i feel like you go out with this person and it's just like boom you just know you and this person know it's like a mutual type of energy. Yeah, I'm hearing it just fits like a glove. You're just, I mean, it's going to be no doubt, no question. And I feel like if you, you're already currently dating somebody and you're in this energy when you got where you guys are just like, you know, in the honeymoon phase where you just can't get enough of each other. I feel like an offer is getting ready to happen. Whoever this person is that you're dating, either this person is getting ready to put a title on it. Like, I want, yeah, like, I want you to be my girlfriend. I want you to be my woman. Or this is you, Leo, man, getting ready to make this offer to somebody. Or like I said, if you already if you're already in an established relationship, this is like moving to the next level. This is like you're getting ready to propose or you guys are already engaged and you, the wedding is happening. Like something here, like I feel like your season is going to be so good to you, Leo, like real shit. All right, Leo. see what other signs are out here we got jupiter so we got sagittarius we got gemini virgo leo and libra yeah jupiter also talks about expansion okay gemini is also mercury energy so it's a lot of communication going back and forth jupiter is expansion something here is expanding in your love life and in your career i feel like it's all happening at once we got aries here for some of you so fire on fire out here because we have leo aries and sagittarius out here give me one more leo We got water. So some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Look, and Cancer on the bottom of the deck. All right. Leo. Leo, let's tap in. I just feel like your life is getting ready to change so drastically. And I don't think you're expecting it. I feel like you feel like something is coming. But you can't quite like put your finger on exactly what it is. But I feel like it's bigger than what you think. You know, some of you may be thinking like, oh, this is like a new job or something like that. But no, this is like a big deal, <laughs> whatever this is. Ooh, for some of you Leos, you could be finding out that you're pregnant too. Oh. I don't even have any cards out here that's like even indicating that. But yeah, look at this. It's a plant growing. It's a seed growing. So yes, some of you Leos are finding out that you're pregnant. That you have something growing in your belly. Wow. You're getting ready to become a mother. So it's you Leos that are going to be finding out that you're with child. Congratulations. Yeah, look at that tower. Oh, my God. Some of you could be having a baby by a Scorpio. Whoa. Yeah, this is whatever this is. It's life changing. Life changing. So, if you don't have any kids, this is you becoming like a first-time mother. And you're just so shocked. You're so overwhelmed. You're so emotional. It's like crazy. Oh, 
also I'm hearing uh, with this Michael Jackson card and child star, for some of you Leos that are already parents, you can have a child that gets thrown into stardom. Like you have a talented child, could be a Virgo, but you have a talented child that's really, really good at something and they may want to like um, sign your child to something. Now, as always, use your discernment when it comes to shit like that. But I feel like this is a good offer. Offer on the table with love. This is something your child is going to love to do. But it's going to be like generational wealth for the whole family. Like you have like a star seed child that's meant to be famous or somebody here is meant to be. If it's not you, this could be a child if you already have kids. Like one of your kids are going to get offered some sort of, some sort of lucrative contract. All right, Leo. Yeah, it says can't sleep. So whatever this is, you're not going to be able to get any sleep. But I feel like this is something that you love to do. Like whatever this is, you don't get tired of it. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's been something you've been doing since you've been a kid anyway. So it just like comes natural to you, whatever this is. And I'm telling you, it's going to grow so fast with that plant in her hand. Like, you planted this seed, Leo. I don't know if you remember when or how or where, but it's coming in. Something here is blooming for you, literally. Water is so good. All right. Yeah, but this could be anything. This is a creative project. This is a career. This is a talent. This is a relationship. Something here is getting ready to take the fuck off. All right. Let me shut up and <laughs> pull cards. This is just like amazing energy, Leo. Like, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I'm like kind of like breathtaking. Priestess reverse. Hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, the high priestess reverse. Oh yeah, Leo. So we have a Pisces that's significant here for some of you. Because we got the high priestess reverse with the star card reverse. And the judgment reverse. For some of you Leos, I feel like you're going to find out something about somebody. Um, it could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Aquarius or um, a Pisces. Now, and I, I don't think that this is your energy because right behind that, we have the Tower and the Queen of Wands. Like something here, like even though something's getting ready to take off for you, there's also something else that's coming out or being exposed with the tower card here. It could be about a Scorpio. It could be about a Pisces, an Aquarius, or a Sagittarius. But look at you right here, Queen of Wands. You're in the upright, though. And look at her talking to this bird and shit. So whatever this is, I feel like may shock other people. But I feel like you already kind of know about whatever this is that's coming out about one of these signs. It's a Scorpio. Um... A Scorpio, a Sagittarius, an Aquarius, or um, a Pisces. Like something is being exposed about one of these signs. I don't feel like this is you because you're in the upright. And, but I feel like you already knew about it because look at that bird. I feel like your ancestors or your spirit guides already like gave you, like they already told you what this was. So it's like shocking everybody else around you, but it's just like, look at you just sitting back smoking because you already knew whatever, whatever the fuck this was, you already knew about it. The high priestess reverse, it talks about a secret coming out. 
So for some of you, it could be like a Pisces that, that expresses their feelings for you and you had no idea. Or it could be actually a Pisces that's like coming out of the closet. I did Pisces reading yesterday um, and Leo energy was heavy in that reading too. So yeah, you could definitely have a Pisces out here that's like exposing some sort of secret that they have. But I, I feel like it's like love related. So you can have a Pisces that's like, I don't know, like wants to express some sort of emotions for you. And it just like shocks everybody. And you're just like, I already knew that. <laughs> yeah, then we got the Son of Knives here, which is the Knight of Swords Reverse. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is in the reverse. King of Coins out here. And the Nine of Swords reverse. So it's definitely heavy air sign energy out here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's an air sign out here who is like losing their shit. Knight of Swords reverse with the Nine of Swords reverse. This is the Ten of Swords. It's in the reverse. Um, but still, I feel like it's an air sign out here that's like, I don't know, something going on with their mental space. Um, 31, 31 on the timer as I said that. But it's definitely like an air sign out here that is like tripping for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, This um air sign could be like very immature. They could be a fast talker. They definitely could be a liar. Um, The Knight of Swords reverse is somebody who's super intelligent, but they're immature. It's like they can be a little bit manipulative, manipulative. They could be, um, for some of them, they could be verbally abusive, this Knight of Swords reverse. But I feel like the Knight of Swords reverse gives me like blunt energy. So whoever this uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius is, this person usually says things without thinking. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, I mean, I don't feel any ill intent behind it. But I just feel like when this person speaks, it's like they don't think before they say something. So it can um, come off in a certain type of way. Or this person has a tendency to be like argumentative or something like easily triggered with this Knight of Swords reverse. Um, but I feel like this air sign is worried for some reason and I'm not sure why. But you definitely have a King of Pentacles out here that is definitely attracted to you. Um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. And then we got heavy Virgo out here. So you can have like a well-established masculine Virgo male that's interested in you. Um, For my Leo females, it's like a Virgo male that is interested in you for whatever reason, for whatever this talent is that you have, whatever this is. Um, This is giving me like businessy vibes. I mean, it is a flame right here. So this man could be sexually attracted to you. But also, this is like businessy. Like you see that lantern. I'm telling you, it's like a Virgo man out here, or this King of Pentacles, somebody who's like a business owner or professional, somebody who's connected to the industry in some sort of way, and they're looking at you for something. And I'm telling you, this, this um, what this looks like, you know, like the genie in a bottle type shit. It's like this person is looking at you because you have something that would be perfect. Like, you who you and this King of Pentacles could really benefit from each other. Like, and I feel like this is, like, a very worthy person. Um, the King of Pentacles, he's stable. He's a business owner. He's definitely serious. He's responsible. He has his shit together. Um, very smart, very organized, very clean. Like, this man could smell really good as well. Um... But I feel like it's it's like a earth sign man that's looking at you is like high value. It's like something you possess. This man will feel like it, he feels like it would benefit him. And when I say that, I could be talking in like um like a professional way as well. So somebody here is looking at you as far as a job prospect, and they just feel like I mean this man, whoever this man is, he could find you attractive. But I feel like he's gonna keep that. 
Like, he's going to keep his professionalism and not admit that. But just know whoever this King of Pentacles is, he definitely finds you attractive. Even if he doesn't come off in a flirtatious type of way. Because I feel like, look at his face, he's serious. So, like, this man could be talking to you about a contract or about a job or about something professional here. But he's also, like, attracted to you low-key as well, whoever this earth sign is. I also feel like whoever this um, air sign is watch out for this person because with the knight of swords right next to the king of pentacles whoever this air sign is i feel like this person it's almost like a mirroring energy whoever this knight of swords reverse is i feel like this person is like trying to copycat off of this king of pentacles so i don't know if you're in a new like if you've been single for a long time this knight of swords reverse could be your ex um leo and this King of Pentacles could be the new person that you're dating. So if you went public with somebody already on like social media and stuff, I feel like your ex could be trying to mimic this King of Pentacles energy. Because I feel like both of these people are going to be in your energy at the same time. You have a King of Pentacles out here, a Divine Masculine, somebody who you could really take serious, really build something with, something that could lead towards a commitment. And then you have your ex like coming back in trying to mimic the energy of the queen of pentacles like whoever this new person is that you're dating or that you're going to be dating this knight of swords person is going to try to study this king of pentacles and like mimic his energy and try to confuse you don't fall for it okay because this knight of, knight of swords did show up in the past position so this definitely could be your ex if you dated a gemini libra aquarius this person is a fast talker they're a liar this person could be involved in criminal activity. This person could have a tendency to like ghost you. It's like something's up with this person communication. Either they're like a pathological liar or they do a lot of ghosting or they did ghost you before. And this person is showing up in your past, showing up in the past position. So that's how I know that this is your ex with the Knight of Swords reverse. But I feel like this person is like, getting pissed off because they see you starting to take this king of pentacles serious like i said i don't know for some of you i don't even know if you i don't know if you're still in contact with your ex or not but somehow some way this ex is keeping tabs on you they know about this king of pentacles you're dating or they can just feel the energy that somebody is getting ready to come in that you're like moving on like you have a real man here or a real woman here that's getting ready to come in. There's a relationship that's getting ready to take off or level up. And your ex is like trying to run in at the last minute. Yeah, and with the high priestess reverse, be careful because if it's a Pisces around here or around you, Mm, I don't know if that Pisces is on the up and up. Like, I'll have to check that out, but I don't know. But somebody out here is really up in their head. Nine of swords. Nine of swords. Somebody out here is worried, stressed out. They could be having headaches, nightmares. Um, They could be having, you know, repetitive thoughts about some sort of encounter, something that happened here, this air sign. Hmm. Tell me about this Knight of Swords reverse for Leo. Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah. This Knight of Swords, um, this Knight of Swords reverse. Whoever this immature as air sign is from your past. For some of you, it could be a cancer. But I feel like this person is, they've, they they took the wrong path. This person is not in their purpose. Um, they probably listen to other people in regards to how they should run their life. And people that uh, ran their life into the fucking ground. That's why the chariot is in reverse. Like this person went the wrong way in some area of their life. And I feel like now they're too far gone because the chariot reverse is somebody who lacks discipline. It's like they listen to other people when it comes to making to making decisions in their life. And so they've listened to so many of the wrong people that they're just like, it's just too far gone. Like shit is just out of control now. It's like to the point where you can't come back from it now. Whoever this night is always reverse. It's like this person doesn't think for themselves. 
Like they always listening to other people about what they should do, where they should go, who they should date. And now I feel like this person has like an anger problem as well. This person also probably it, like doesn't have a car possibly um, or something is going on with their car with the chariot reverse. But I definitely feel like this person like went the wrong way in life. It's like I'm hearing this person was railroaded. Wow. Tell me about the chariot reverse. That is so weird. I don't know. That <laughs> this night is always reversed threw me off. Cause it's just like, why would you be trying to like mimic or stalk like the new person's energy? Like that shit is weird. I don't know why I'm getting that. But anyway, chariot reverse. Yeah, Hermit card. I'm telling you, whoever this Knight of Swords reverse is, this Cancer energy, this person who took the wrong path, listening to other people, this person that ghosted you, this person that's a liar, um, this person is at home watching you, Hermit card. It's like this person just sits at home and just watches you. For some of you, it could be a Virgo, for some of you, but this person just sits at home and watches you all day. Tell me about the hermit card right here. This person is like trying to, I'm telling you, because the hermit is like, the hermit goes within to, to research. The hermit is Virgo energy. Somebody who's very smart, somebody who's wise, who studies. Um, the, the hermit is very intelligent because he goes within. He does his research. He knows his shit. I'm telling you, hermit card, whoever this ex is, this person is like a hermit energy and they're studying something. They're studying you or they're studying this new person that you date, that you're dating to try to copy this person's energy or something here. This ex is, whoever this ex is, this Knight of Swords reverse is doing something weird. There's a hermit card here. Four of Wands, yeah, this could be a twin flame shit. So if you are accustomed to the twin flame journey or you know who your twin flame is, I feel like for some reason that situation didn't work out. Four sword, I mean four swords, four wands reverse. Whoever this twin flame energy is, this shit, it was like a breakup between you and this person. And now this person is losing this shit. Because I feel like with the twin flame, the twin flame is somebody that mirrors you. But the twin flame journey is really about like self-awareness. You know, your twin flame teaches you about yourself because it's really like a mirror of who you are. But I feel like, Leo, you may have learned all you needed to learn from your, from your twin. So you're moving on. But this twin took the wrong path. They went the wrong way. They didn't learn anything. And now you're moving on. And this person is just like losing their shit. Yeah, with the Hermit and the Four of Wands reverse, this person could be like trying to figure out where your address is or last time they seen your address on something or the last place they knew you lived. Like something weird. Why is the Four of Wands reverse? Four of Wands reverse can also indicate like conflict in the home. So if you are a Leo that is currently married, um oh yeah look what flipped over the death card so for some of you leos that are married for some of you unfortunately my condolences you could have suffered a miscarriage and that may have caused some like tension in your relationship or your marriage that's for some of you not all of you but the death card um I feel like if you or like if you were in a relationship or you were married to a Scorpio or this was on some sort of live in situation, it's some sort of conflict here. Lots of four wands reverse or it's arguing in the home. 
But the full wands reverse can indicate like a separation, like somebody moving out or something with the death card showing up. Some of you um, Leos, this could be somebody that you divorced. This could be somebody that you divorced, like either literally here in a 3D or in a 5D. Because like I said, this is a twin flame. Or you could have been married to your twin flame in a 5D. Some of you were actually married to somebody here in a 3D. But I feel like some of you are going through a divorce or it's like it's been confirmed. Like, I don't know. Like I said, for some of you that were in a relationship or married for a long time, you could be finally getting a divorce and like it's getting real. Like. It's like, you know, both both parties have been knowing that you're getting ready to get a divorce. You know, you're going to move on with your life. But I feel like it didn't got real because now the papers are here. Like, it's time to sign on the dotted line. This is really going to be over. Like, it's something major happening. For, but that's for Leos that are already married. Why is the four of wands? Because I told you, the channel song that I got was Beyonce featuring Kendrick Lamar, Freedom. So it's like you're being freed from something. So if you were in a marriage that it wasn't working, you and this person always arguing in a home because this person was immature or they lie too much or they're a cheater or they like to be out all night and shit. Like that shit is dead. It's like you guys are officially getting a divorce. You're getting ready to sign on the dotted line and you are officially free. Well, that's the full wands reverse. But I feel like yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups. It's like you're freed from a situation and you start loving yourself again. <laughs> Mother of baskets. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you divorce from somebody or you move out of a home from somebody and you just start loving yourself again. Queen of Cups, you start healing yourself. The child I was meant to be. Yes. You start healing like instantly from this situation. And some of you, like I said, it's the King of Pentacles out here looking at you. So regardless if you just got out of a relationship or you just separated from somebody, it's a new. It's like as soon as you leave that situation, you go straight into a new situation. But I feel like it's with the right person. But I feel like it's unexpected. I don't think you're expecting it or anybody. I think for some of you. You're just feeling like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to be divorced. It's going to be my single season. I'm going to turn up, blah, blah, blah. But no, King of Pentacles is looking dead at you. Like, you're going to go into another relationship, and you don't even know it. But I feel like it's happening this way because whoever this King of Pentacles is is going to help you heal. And I know that sounds ironic because normally they tell you, like, you know, if you've been in a tumultuous relationship or a bad relationship or a bad breakup, you need to spend time alone be by yourself, heal, but no, I feel like this is like a serendipitous energy. Like you divorce somebody or you move out or you break up and you go right into a new relationship with this King of Pentacles. I feel like it happens quick, but you you know it's it's right. Like it, it was faded. And I feel like you're in this Queen of Cups energy, self-love, you're high vibing, very intuitive, very sweet. Um, so a lot of you Leos can have nice teeth. Some of you can have long hair, very long hair, or you like inches and bundles, you know, that that wavy Brazilian. <laughs> but yeah, like Queen of Cups energy is like beautiful. It's like somebody who's very nurturing, somebody who's very loving, somebody who's very tapped in, they're very calm, they're very sweet. Like the Queen of Cups is somebody that you could just feel safe around, or this is how this King of Pentacles is looking at you. For you, um, Leo females, for you, Leo males, if you're dating somebody, this is how you could view this woman as the Queen of Cups. Some of you, Leo men, are dating a Queen of Cups, um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but I feel like she's a high vibing Queen of Cups. She's very, um, nurturing, very loving. I feel like this woman, she, um, it's almost like she knows what you need before you even have to say anything. Because like I tell you, the mother of cups is like intuitive. She will care for you. She will take care of you. She will cook for you. She will take care of you when you're sick. She will run your bath water and shit. So it's just like, you don't even have to say nothing to this queen of cups. She's just like, whatever it is that you need, she's already doing it before you can even open your mouth. Clarify the king of pentacles.
Yeah, I'm to look tower in the King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you're not expecting this. Like you're not. Like I feel like some of you Leos, some of you Leos have already been single. You're in your single season. You're loving on yourself. You're working out. You know, you're doing you. Others of you, you're getting out of a situation. You're getting ready to sign divorce papers. You're getting ready to move out. Whatever the case may be, but you go straight. I mean, it's like so shocking. Tower with the King of Pentacles. You go right into this new beginning and it's like so unexpected. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you Leos may have like felt something coming in your energy, but you just couldn't put your finger on exactly what it is or where it's at or when it's coming. And I feel like it just shows up as soon as you leave something or move something or. Yeah, I feel like it just comes in out of nowhere and you're like, oh, my fucking God, like what the fuck? Or this King of Pentacles makes this offer out of nowhere. It's like, what the fuck? Like I said, for some of you that have been dating somebody already, this person is showing up in the King of Pentacles energy. This person is ready to make a solid commitment. He's ready to take you serious. Like, potentially lead to marriage type shit. So this man may unexpectedly propose to you and you're like, what the fuck? Like, it's like something here that you do not see coming, but yeah, I feel like it's going to make you so happy. Like, this tower is giving me good energy. But you have a mad-ass ex, and it's not a serious reverse energy who's like, I don't know, losing their shit. Because that could have been a twin flame that you were destined to be with. But I don't, a knight of swords reverse energy, that person was not doing the work on themselves, so... They didn't mature enough in time for y'all to actually come together. And I feel like this person is getting replaced. TikTok, time is running out. Like, I feel like this twin flame, the person that couldn't get their shit together, it's too late for them. This King of Pentacles is getting ready to show up with the Tower card. Like, it's literally getting ready to happen. If it hasn't already, this new person could be in your energy right now because they're showing up in the present energy so I have tower here yeah two of wands two of wands reverse so some of you leos you may be a little bit nervous of uh, like going down this path taking this new offer because it's so sudden it's so unexpected it's just like, it just catches you off guard. So it may make you hesitate a little bit with the two of wands reverse. But I don't know. Let's clarify and see. Two of wands reverse. Tell me about the two of wands. Yeah, three of pentacles reversed. Yeah, you may have some fears that this may not work out. Um, but I honestly don't feel like you have to worry about that. That just may be like, you know, it's just so shocking that this is getting ready to happen with the three of pentacles reversed. It's just like you just low-key start thinking the worst, but don't do that. <laughs> Leo, like, don't start thinking the worst. Like, this, this is like, it feels like divine timing. Like a tower card, there's like unexpected change. Like you had no control over this situation. You know, this is happening when it's supposed to. And yes, it could definitely be scary. Like a tower card or something this drastic. You're like, oh my God, what the fuck? Yeah, this is the King of Swords reverse. Y'all definitely got a mad ass air sign masculine man out here. Like, I feel like this is this twin flame person. King of Swords reverse with the Three of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Wands reverse. This person couldn't make a decision or they were too scared to go on this journey with you. So they got left behind. Three of Pentacles reverse. Now you don't want to work with this person no more. You don't want to collaborate with them. Nothing. You could have worked with this King of Swords reverse as well. For some of you, Three of Pentacles reverse. This person could be unemployed. So, yeah, I don't know. This You have a crazy-ass ex out here. And for a lot of you, it's an air sign. Or they have air in the chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this King of Swords reverse, this person lacks integrity. 
they're a liar, they're emotionally detached, they haven't did any healing on themselves, like they're out of a job, they're out of a car, um, something's going on with the four of wands reverse going on with this person's home, like I don't know where they're living at, but wherever they're at, it's like conflict. Like, I don't know what's going on with this King of Swords reverse. Um, tell me about this King of Swords reverse. But you don't want to work with this person no more. Three of Pentacles reverse. You don't want to collaborate with them. You don't want to deal with them. You don't want to work on no nothing. Like, this person was too fearful to go down a new path with the Two of Wands reverse. They chose to stay put. And that's how they ended up going the wrong way because they didn't. I don't know. This person has like a fear of change or something. Ooh. Yeah, look at that nine of pentacles on top of this king of swords reverse. So now this person wants to come in after all this fucking time trying to explain to you. Well, what had happened was, like, you don't want to hear that shit. Like, this, the, your ex, this King of Swords Reverse is trying to come in with some sort of fucking explanation about some shit. <sighs> After a long-ass time, you probably ain't heard from this person in, like, a year or longer. And they're popping up out the fucking woodworks because they're not doing well in life. Knight of Pentacles Reverse. This person moves extremely slow. It took them a long as time and they're still not even showing up as king energy yet this person is your ex they're not showing up as a king or emperor this person is showing up as a knight of swords reverse and a knight of uh i mean the knight of swords reverse and the king of swords reverse this person is definitely a pathological liar like they're very childish their mind operates like a child or a teenager they play too fucking much whoever this ex is not a pentacle Yeah, look at that five of wands. This person may want to argue with you or whatever this explanation is that this person tries to give you. I feel like, Leo, you're going to know that this shit is bullshit and it's going to piss you off. Five of wands. This conversation could easily end up tur turning into an argument or a fight or an altercation. Like real shit. Five of swords because this person is bothered. They feel in some type of way. They're trying to act like they're okay when they're not. This person is jealous because they feel like there's competition for you now or because you're moving on or because they didn't see something on social media or online about this king, this new king of pentacles that you're dating and shit. Shit's starting to get serious. Yeah, look at that strength card reverse. I feel like you just don't have no energy to talk. You don't have the strength to tolerate this person. Like, this person is going to piss you off. Whatever this is with the Knight of Pentacles that they try to come in and say, whatever excuse that they come with, like the Knight of Swords is in reverse, the King of Swords is in reverse. This person is a liar, male or female. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. This person is a liar. They'll come back in trying to give you some lame ass excuse about where the fuck they been, what they been doing, why you ain't heard from them in a long ass time. Not a pentacles, it's bullshit and it's going to piss you off because I feel like you're going to know that this person is lying. Like you're, you're, it's going to be obvious to you, Leo, that this person is lying and it's going to piss you off because it's like disrespectful. Like, like, look at this shit. Like, like what the fuck? Like what, what whack ass book did you make that shit up out of? Like. It's like it's going to piss you off because I feel like this person is trying to play on your intelligence. It's like this person thinks you're stupid or something. And I feel like you've been trying to hold back from keeping going off on this person or just not even going there with this person. But I feel like with the strength card in reverse and the five of wands, you just might go there. Like I, I really feel like if you can, if you can help it, don't do it. But some of you might just do it because I feel like this person just irritates you. This person is like a gnat. It's like annoying. Why <laughs> is the strength card reverse? And this person got the audacity to show up just because they found out you're dating something new or enough somebody new or something. Strength card reverse. I feel like this person is like weak. They're lame. Like, this person, like, I don't know. This is like a man with female tendencies. 
Yeah, sun card reversed. I just feel like when this person comes around, your energy just instantly goes down. It's like this person just instantly pisses you off because it's just like you don't even want to hear what this person got, has to say or nothing. It's like you just don't want this person bothering you at all. Sun card reverse. Yeah, and I feel like this person, like, with the five of wands, they try to, this person is trying to argue with you. Like, this person tries to, like, I don't know, rain on your parade or bring down your party. Because it's just, like, I feel like you're having a good time. You're enjoying yourself. You're doing your thing, Leo. And then soon, whatever this message is or this conversation that happens between you and this past person, I feel like it just instantly just kills your whole vibe. But don't let this person do that like i said the sun reverse with the strength reverse and we have the fool card here the free man i feel like you're just like i'm so done with you like just move around it's like whoever this ex is doesn't fucking stand a chance <laughs> like why is the nine of swords reverse Yeah, this air sign, nine of swords reversed with the two of cups, they're stressed out because you found a soulmate. You found somebody else that's compatible, that wants to take you serious, that sees your value, that wants to marry you, that sees long-term commitment, long-term investment with you. Like, And for others of you that are already in a relationship, I still feel like you have an ex that's resurfacing because, I don't know, it's like... You could have not heard from this person in a long time. You've been married in a relationship, minding your business, and this person just shows up out of nowhere. But it's because something's going on in this person's life where they're not happy or they're struggling like really, really bad. And you may be this person's last resort. Like it may throw you off guard, Leo, because you're just like, like I'm fucking married. Like, why are you even messaging me? You know what I'm saying? It's just like this person, it's like something wrong with them. Like, I ain't heard from you in years. I'm married with a wife and a husband and kids. And you're messaging me saying, what now? Like, absolutely the fuck not. Get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> it's just like, oh my God. Like, whoever this ex is, they are like, I feel like this person is crazy. Not a swords reverse and a king of swords reverse. It's something about this person that's mental. a basket like maybe this person never thought that you would find anybody better than them or i don't know what the fuck this person thought like if you're single and you're dating somebody and you're finally moving on with your life like this person is losing their shit yeah five of cups reversed this person is heartbroken that you found somebody else two of cups it's like they, it's almost like this person never thought that it this would happen. It's like a shock factor. Just like Leo, you're going to be shocked that you're getting ready to move into a serious commitment. This person never thought that you, that, was, that shit would happen to you either. And now this person is just popping up out of the woodwork after a long ass time. And you're like, excuse me? Like... Five of Cups. This person has a lot of regrets. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Nobody wants to fucking hear it. Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, Two of Swords. Look at this shit. Two of Swords. You want to ignore this person and act like you don't even see them. Like, you give zero fucks. The Two of Swords is like being indifferent. You do not care about what, nothing that this person is saying you don't care about no apology no explanation no offer no nothing it's just like why the fuck are you even talking to me like oh shit two of swords like you're definitely going to ignore this person or block them because you just don't give a fuck but I feel like whatever this person says, it may press a button. It may trigger you because you're going to be like, are you fucking serious? 
But at the same time, like I said, Knight of Swords reverse with the King of Swords reverse, this person don't got them off. So it's just like, it's like whatever this person says, it's probably like triggers you or press one, presses one of your buttons. But then at the same time, you're going to be looking at them like, yeah, you don't have a, you, you don't got the sense God gave you. You don't have common sense at all. Like whatever this person says, I feel like it makes you mad. But then you also, it, it really solidifies like how stupid this person is. And you just be like, you know what? Bye. Like real shit. You are this fucking missed. Like, <laughs> oh shit. Two of swords. this queen of wands you're like uh-uh like block two of swords get the fuck out of here you gonna ignore this person leave them all red block them and like light up your blunt and keep it moving queen of wands you like i don't got time for this like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> oh shit clarify the queen of wands Also, Leo, I see like you can make a new friend out here. We got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands, but they're both in the upright. Like they both could be your energy. But at the same time, it's like I feel like a new friend is out here. You may meet like um a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio female friend that you actually end up getting along with really well. I feel like this person is really sweet and considerate. very um she might be very girly you know she may like want to go get her nails done and all that type of shit <laughs> um then we have the ten of wands here so yeah you're releasing whatever this situation is from the past that just weighs you down it was just like a pain in your fucking ass it's just a such a heavy burden i just feel like you're just dropping this shit you're just like i don't I'm just not going to deal with this shit no more. Ten of Wands. And you free yourself. A new beginning with the Fool card here. Some of you be dealing with the Aries. For some of you, this crazy ass ex is either a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it could be an Aries. Then we got the Hangman out here. Like, yeah, I feel like, Leo, you didn't have some sort of paradigm shift. Like something in your mind has clicked. It has switched. To where your perspective has changed on shit. You're looking at life completely differently than you did before. Which is bringing in this serendipitous energy. This instantaneous healing. It's just like you're looking at something so clear now. You see it clear. You see your purpose clear. You see the success clear. You see your next steps clearly. It's like you finally come out of this stagnation. Out of this hangman position. Because I feel like. Leo, some of you may feel like you were stuck or shit wasn't moving or you ain't know what to do next. But I feel like it's because you had to have this paradigm shift in your mindset. Something in your thought process had to change. You had to look at something differently. And I honestly feel like it was the belief that you can still be happy, that you can have what you want regardless of whatever the fuck this is. Your happiness will not be affected. Like... It doesn't matter if you're getting ready to be a single mother. It doesn't matter if you're getting divorced. It doesn't matter if you're getting into a relationship. Like, whatever the circumstance is, I feel like you're going to be happy regardless because you're whole within self. Like, period. You've been taking care of yourself, Leo, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. You've been prayed up. You've been doing the work. So, regardless of how any situation turns out whether it's good or bad i feel like you're not taking it personal to the point where it's going to affect your mood or it's going to affect the the way you see yourself like you're not it's like nothing no matter what it is a job a person whatever the fuck doesn't have enough power over you to change the way you see yourself and that's what's bringing in like all of this like miracle like energy it's like you're in such alignment now with self you're so balanced hang man
Yeah, it could be a Pisces out here too that feels like they got left behind. They came out in the Pisces reading as well. I don't know how this, I don't know how you're connected to this Pisces Leo. I don't know if this Pisces is your ex. Um, I don't know if this is like a, a friend or a relative or somebody that you know, but it's a Pisces and your energy lingering around that feels like they got left behind. But with the three of wands reverse, I feel like this person was a hidden enemy anyway. No matter what their relationship is, I feel like this person was a hidden enemy. They were trying to slow you down or delay your progress. This person was like a hindrance, but also like a hidden enemy. I feel like this person really didn't want to see you win low-key because they are stuck in, in some area of their life. So they want, they want you to be on the same level as them. And I feel like, Leo, you're like, ah, ah, I'm not having that shit. Fuck on. <laughs> So for some of you, you did leave this Pisces hanging because you were showing up heavy and the, Pis the Pisces were showing up heavy. Or what am I trying to say? I just fucked that up. The um the Pisces reading that I did, did yesterday, Leo, you were showing up really heavy in their reading. It's just like whoever this Pisces is, they wanted you to be stuck like they are in their, in their life in whatever facet that may be. But you're like, absolutely not. Like, I'm going after my dreams. Like, I wasn't made to be stuck. I'm not finna be sitting in the past being all mad and sad. Like, fuck all of that. Three of Wands reverse. And then I feel like this Pisces could have some sort of mental illness as well. Yeah, this Pisces can have like some sort of mental disorder as well. We got the Eight of Swords out here. This is somebody who's in a mental prison or spiritual jail. Um, somebody who's having a lot of racing thoughts, anxiety, um, fear. Um, just this person just doesn't know what to do. They feel like they're backed into a corner and there's no way out of their situation because you left them behind. Or this is how they're going to feel. Because like I said, you may not have time. If you're still like, if you're still like in communication with whoever this Pisces person is, I feel like they're just, I don't feel like you're doing it on purpose, but I feel like this person is just going to end up falling by the wayside anyway, because whatever this new shit that's coming in, is going to take a lot of your time and attention. This new career, this new relationship, all this new shit that's coming in, I mean, you just may not really have time for this person. Eight of Swords. Especially if this is a Pisces male, this person could be like misogynistic. Like they can have some sort of hate towards females for whatever reason. Like if this is a Pisces male, this man can have like mommy issues and shit. Or this person, you may find out that this, if this is a masculine Pisces energy, you could be find out that this person is facing jail time. Eight of Swords. Yeah, Six of Wands. Look at you. You out here winning. You getting a lot of attention. Your platform's taking off. Your business is taking off. Like people look up to you. You're a leader. You look good. You get a lot of attention. Like people want to follow you. Like Leo, six of wins. Like like six of wands. You out here winning in this bitch. Real shit. And then I don't know why I'm getting like some of you Leos. Maybe you like horses a lot. Some of you Leos may purchase a a horse. Like you may have, like you may have enough money, or you're bringing in enough money, or you will be, and you end up purchasing like your dream horse. Like this horse could be like a white horse or like a white and brown horse, cause like, and you may even like race with this motherfucker too, cause like that looks like a metal or something on this horse, like a, I don't know, something about <laughs> a Leo out here that likes horses. Okay, six <laughs> six of wands. That may be something that gets you a lot of attention. Like I said, this is something that you've been doing for a long time since you were a kid. For some of you, that's like horse racing. For Leo out here, they've been horseback riding for a long time. And now they finally purchased their own horse. And then there's people looking at you like, 
How how the fuck were you able to afford a horse? Like the fuck. <laughs> It's definitely Leo energy. It's always gonna be extravagant. Leo's like nice shit and they like to look good. Son of baskets, I'm telling you, it is a hating ass water sign out here. Or like I said, this could be your ex and this Knight of Cups reverse energy. This person is gonna come in trying to love bomb you gaslight you be and that's how you gonna know this person is fake this knight of cups reverse this is fake love this is somebody who is not sincere um the knight of cups reverse is a seducer a charmer somebody who tells you what you want to hear but has no intention on on following through with any of it that's how you know this shit is going to be bullshit because this person is going to be acting overly nice and you're going to be like that's not even in your character like motherfucker i know you to be the knight of swords reverse your mouth is reckless like you talk crazy with motherfuckers like you be disrespectful you always lying and now all of a sudden you finna walk in here and act like you the sweetest person on earth like you love me so much and i'm the one i feel like this person is gonna overdo it and it's gonna be a dead giveaway for you that this motherfucker is a liar like you're just like like you just don't fucking ever stop do you like, you just don't get it. Like, like you're not going to be satisfied. Like, you won't stop doing this goofy shit until you just meet your maker. Until the most high just take you the fuck up out of here because something is wrong with you. Like, real shit. I hear somebody, like, saying it. It's just like, it's, what's wrong? Like, it's not, even a, it's not even a thing about, like, we broke up and shit no more. It's just like just the way you move through life like you keep doing the same shit over and over and over and over again like you just will never stop like every time i talk to you you keep saying this same shit like you have not changed like when are you ever going to get it like obviously like it's something like this motherfucker got like a learning disability or something because how are you not understanding like by now <sighs> Because I honestly feel like you haven't talked to this person as a long, in a long ass time. So for them to try to come in and try to love bomb you and saying all this shit, you just looking at this person like, like, what are you, 15? Like, shut the fuck up and get out of my face. Like, <laughs> I really feel like, Leo, be careful, okay? Please. Like, I feel like this person already ain't got them all. Like, take it easy on them if you can. But I feel like this person is really going to irritate you. Like, piss you the fuck off. Because it's just like, you don't have time for this stupid shit. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Cups, you just walk the fuck away. Like, mm-mm. Look at him. His eyes is even closed. He's like, mm-mm. That just don't make no fucking sense that somebody just acts like this. At this big grown age, Yo ass is just acting like you're slow. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Like, no, bitch, I'd rather be single. Like, mind my business, live my life. Like, you know, Nine of Pentacles this is Virgo energy. With that Virgo energy being out here, that Leo and Virgo that came out, Nipsey and Michael Jackson, some of you Leos could be Leo Virgo cusps. So your birthday could be like 820, eight, like 8-21, 8-22. But yeah, it's just like, no, I'd rather be, some of you have a cat, but it's just like, no, nine of pentacles energy, you're self-made, self-sufficient, your confidence is up to par, the nine of pentacles, you dress well, um, most of you have a nice looking body, like period, the nine of pentacles is somebody who has a nice body, um, and you're just like, no, I'd rather be single and successful and free and doing what the fuck I want to do instead of listening to your bullshit ass lies, get the fuck out of my face. Especially, it could be heavy air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and water is out here too. Heavy Pisces, heavy Scorpio. Why is the uh, high priestess reverse? It's the overall energy. Why is the high priestess reverse? Yeah, three of swords reverse. I'm telling you, this Pisces is going to be heartbroken. 
or it's a high priestess reverse out here. It could have been like a dark witch or some uh, a witchy bitch who was trying to do some like, I don't know, some sort of magic on you. But this bitch is going to be disappointed. Three of Swords, this shit ain't going to work. Who is this high priestess reverse three of swords? For some of you, this could have been a third party situation, but I feel like it's with your ex. It's not with this. Well, it could be with the new person that you're dating. I feel like whoever this high priestess reverse is, whoever this female is, she is not connected to her intuition at all. And I feel like she is the one with her heart broken. High priestess reverse with the three of swords. This high priestess reverse could be a Pisces. Um... It could be a Pisces. For some of you, it's not a Pisces. It's just some female who, I don't know, thought she was a tarot reader, but she sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's going to end up heartbroken for whatever reason. Or um, the High Priestess Reverse also talks about ill intentions. So this woman could be intuitive, but she uses her intuitive abilities to manipulate people. And that could have been exposed. Because the High Priestess also talks about um, secrets coming out. So, I don't know. She could have either got exposed for being a fake-ass tarot reader. Or she or she could have been exposed for being somebody's side bitch or messing with a married man or something. Three of Swords. And this could have been the person that your ex was messing with. That's why your ex is showing up out of the woodworks. Out of, out of fucking nowhere. That you ain't even talked to from a long ass time. With all these lies, excuses, and this bullshit. He was messing with a high... He or she was messing with a high priestess reverse. Somebody that cheated on them. Or got exposed for being somebody's side bitch or something here. Three of Swords. Like, whoever this person was your ex was involved with. Had your ex involved in a third party. And so they missed their opportunity with you, Leo. And Leo, you're somewhere over here with businesses popping, minding your business. Some of you are in a whole new relationship. Some of you are getting ready to get married. Some of you are engaged. Some of you are pregnant. Like you just got whole new shit popping in your life. And this ex is trying to run back towards you because whoever this fucking person was that they were dealing with got caught doing something. Or was exposed or a secret came out about whoever they were fucking with. My sister is always reversed. Yeah, the devil. I'm telling you, this person was toxic. Or this person even could have been plotting on your ex. Some of them, some of you, whoever this high priestess reverse was that your ex was dealing with, with the three of swords reverse. She could have tried to get your ex set up. She could have had some type of plot or plan to like really like get that motherfucker up out of here. Cause look, this this woman, this is the devil card in this deck, Miss Robinson. It's a woman. And she's holding an obituary in her hand that says RIP, but look at her face. She don't look sad or anything about whoever the fuck that is on that obituary, right? So yeah, she could have got exposed for trying to get your ex set up. Like on some real shit. Yeah, look at that. Temperance reverse. Somebody found out and was pissed. I'm talking about mad as fuck. That some dirty ass high priestess bitch was trying to get them taken the fuck up out of here on some real shit. Yeah, nine of cups. This was wish fulfillment for who he could have been. He could have been dealing with a water sign. Nine of Cups. Like, it was like wish, wish fulfillment. Like, whoever this person was that your ex was dealing with, that bitch is crazy. Okay, that's probably why your ex is crazy. Especially High Priestess Reverse. She she had to be aware of some sort of esoteric knowledge. Because the High Priestess Reverse, she could know about tarot. She could know about other shit, other religions. I don't, some other spiritual practices. I don't know what the fuck this bitch do, but I don't know. She could have been trying to take your person out. I don't know if it's literally through some like, some sort of plot or scam or scheme, or if she was trying to take this person out with like black magic or something. Like nine of cups, she could have been putting something in his food, trying to poison him or something like that. Like this bitch is fucking crazy. Like, whoever this person was that your ex was messing with, which is why your ex is crazy now. Like, I'm telling you, when this person comes talk to you or reaches out to you or say something to you, 
you're it's like something is gonna be off with this person like you're gonna be like have you lost your mind like are you fucking crazy or weird but i'm telling you it's because this ex that he was dealing with he or she was dealing with was doing something to them she was putting something in his or her food i'm hearing i don't know why i'm hearing formaldehyde i don't fucking know leo Oof. hell fucking no nine of cups this was this bitch's wish to get your ex up out of here like why does she why does she what why was she doing this spirit why was she doing this why was she or he doing this ace of cups reverse because they went through some sort of badass breakup or because he didn't love her yeah, whoever this ex was, whoever this person was that your ex was dealing with, this was some like femme fatale type energy. Like if I if I can't have you, nobody else can type shit. So she was trying to poison this motherfucker to get him the fuck up out of here. Because Ace of Cups reverse, it was unrequited love. Like your ex wasn't in love with this person anymore. And this person was really mad about it. Like, this bitch is definitely crazy. Her ass, that, that could be this motherfucker that's scared they gonna go to jail. Yeah, five of coins, five of pentacles. This person is broke, destitute. Um, Your ex could be homeless for some of you because they literally had to get away from this crazy ass bitch. Like, she literally could have been putting something in this person's food. I don't know what... Um. Like I said, I heard formaldehyde. It could have been anything. You know, bitches is weird. If she was dabbling in magic with the high priestess reverse, ain't no telling what that bitch looked up or got a hold of or figured out or something. I don't fucking know. Um, that's why I'm not in principles. Getting a deck card. Yeah, this shit, this shit is over for you. Yeah, especially you, um, Leo men. If you were dealing with like a crazy ass water sign or something, you done with this bitch. Death card with the King of Wands and the Four of Swords. Like, yes, like you are like protecting your peace, your healing, your mind and your business. Like you changed like. Leo men, if you were dating a water sign, it's like whoever this person is, I don't know what the fuck she was doing or did, but you look at this person completely differently. I don't know if this person got an abortion and didn't tell you about it. Um, for some of you, Leo men, you could have been dealing with a woman who was very promiscuous with the high priestess reverse. Um, she could have possibly gave you something. I don't know. Because we got the King of Wands here with the Four of Swords. Four of Swords talks about being at home healing or being in the hospital. And, like, look at that flame. So, yeah, some of you Leo men could have been dealing with a promiscuous-ass woman, but she didn't come off like that. She could have came off as, like, the Queen of Cups. You thought she was sweet, nurturing, loving, you know. She had that smile that just captured you. But this bitch was really a slut. Yeah, and this person could have tried to flip it on you and said you gave it to them or something because we got the Ace of Wands with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person could have been trying to lie and said that you gave them something. But, the, like, Queen of Swords, that's not the fucking truth. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, Eight of Wands, that shit backfired. So if somebody was trying to lie on you and say that you gave them something, that shit backfired on their ass. Eight of Wands reversed. This person is a fucking liar. This person told all these lies on you and shit. And now they want to reconcile Page of Coins World Card with the Three of Cups. Now they want to start over because they were trying to lie on you or ruin your reputation or slander you. And motherfuckers looking at them like, ain't no fucking way. Like, what the fuck? You know, like, I don't know. It's, man, Leo, you got some haters out here. But what's new? Shit, them haters always come out in your fucking reading, Leo, because they lame. Like, how could you hate somebody? Like, how could you dislike somebody so much to the point where you just start doing goofy, stupid shit? Like, I'm telling you, people are fucking weird. But anyway, Leo, this has been your reading, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.